In this video, we will focus on fractional distillation. Fractional distillation is used to separate a mixture of miscible liquids with different boiling points. Liquids with boiling points that are close together may be separated with this method, although better separation can be achieved if the difference in boiling points is more significant. Now let's take a look at the fractional distillation setup. Here, we will separate a mixture of miscible liquids, which is a solution of ethanol and water. Now we have the distillation flask. We have water and ethanol in this flask. And inside, we have boiling chips. This long column here is called fractionating column. And inside, there are many glass beads. We have a thermometer at the top of the fractionating column. We have a condenser. And we have a conical flask here, which we call a receiver to collect the pure distillate. So here we will separate the mixture of miscible liquids, which is a solution of ethanol and water. So now we will heat up the mixture of liquids in the distillation flask. Now the purpose of the boiling chips in the flask is to ensure smooth boiling. Now do note, the boiling point of ethanol is 78 degrees Celsius, while that of water is 100 degrees Celsius. So ethanol has a lower boiling point. Now when the mixture is heated, both liquids evaporate, but ethanol will boil before water. As the vapour of both liquids rise to the fractionating column, they touch the glass beads in the column. There are many glass beads and they serve to provide large cool surface area for the vapour to condense on. Now in this case, at 78 degrees Celsius, vapour of water that touches the glass beads will condense back as liquid and drips back into the distillation flask. Now only vapour of ethanol will be able to continue to rise up to the top of the fractionating column, enters the condenser, cools and condenses and eventually be collected as distillate in the receiver. Hence the purpose of the fractionating column is really to separate the vapour of the different liquids in the mixture so as to ensure that, as much as possible at any one time, only one vapour is able to enter the condenser. Now the thermometer which is placed at the top of the flask is used to measure the temperature of the vapour that reaches the top of the column. Now when we are collecting ethanol, the thermometer will show a constant temperature of 78 degrees Celsius, which is the boiling point of ethanol. Now water which has a higher boiling point will remain in the flask until almost all the ethanol has been distilled. When all the ethanol has distilled over, the temperature in the thermometer will actually rise up to 100 degrees Celsius, which is the boiling point of water. Now at this temperature, water distilled over and will be collected separately. Now let's focus on the condenser. The temperature in the condenser is much lower. The hot vapour that reaches the top of the fractionating column will actually cool down in the condenser and condenses back into liquid. Now pure liquid is collected as a distillate in the receiver. If the distillate to be collected is a volatile liquid, the receiver should be placed in an ice bath. This ensures the low temperature of distillate and allows it to remain as a liquid. Now do note that the condenser should be sloping downwards to ensure that the pure liquid is able to flow downwards into the receiver. Condenser has two tubes. Cold water flows in from the tube at the bottom while flows out from the tube at the top. Now this ensures that the whole condenser is filled up with cold water and it provides an excellent cooling system for the vapour. Now, do know that fractional distillation is actually a very important physical separation method that actually has industrial applications. We actually use fractional distillation to obtain individual gases from air. Fractional distillation is used to obtain pure oxygen and pure nitrogen from air. So air is actually cooled to about negative 200 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, air is a liquid. 
So liquid air is then distilled by allowing liquid to warm up. Nitrogen has a lower boiling point of negative 196 degrees Celsius, so it will distill first. Oxygen, which has a higher boiling point of negative 183 degrees Celsius, will be distilled next. So with fractional distillation, we will be able to produce nitrogen and oxygen separately. Now if you find this video useful, do remember to share with your friends. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more chemistry learning videos. If you'd like to have more chemistry learning resources, do check out my website. The link is in the description below. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.